This video continues our web series on the Obama administration's executive orders. So we've already talked about DACA and DAPA, and we've already talked about expanded DACA as well. Um, another program that is supposed to take effect that has not yet, but which I'm excited about, is the Expanded Provisional Unlawful Presence Waiver. So this waiver is, uh, could help several people that have um, entered the country unlawfully without inspection, meaning they entered the country without a visa or other, some other lawful status, but they have a family member who uh, qualifies to petition for them for their green card. Um, so in, in 2013, uh, the administration created what's called the Provisional Unlawful Presence Waiver, or the I-601A Waiver. What this did is it allowed people who, for example, a married couple, um, a U.S. citizen and a non-citizen, let's say the non-citizen entered the country without inspection. Uh, this allowed this couple to um, ask for a waiver of the 10-year bar. So what happens is a couple in this situation, um, if, if the non-citizen entered the country unlawfully, that non-citizen would have to go back to their home country to request the green card at a consulate or embassy abroad. Now the problem with that is most of these people would face what's called the 10-year bar because they had been unlawfully present in the United States for uh, a year or more. Uh, and because of that, if, if the, the spouse went to their home country to to uh, apply for the green card, they'd have to wait 10 years. Well, this unlawful presence waiver, this provisional waiver, allowed the couple to, to ask for a waiver of that 10-year bar um, so that they could get that green card much quicker and without having to be separated. Um, and that bar, it's complicated. There's a lot that goes into it. It's also known as the extreme hardship waiver. Um, so that's, it's complicated. If you think you qualify, you're, you're definitely encouraged to talk to an attorney. Um, but this, this unlawful presence waiver, this provisional waiver, uh, used to be required that the non-citizen go to their home country and apply for the waiver there. And that was risky because if it was denied, they may be stuck. And it also took a long time to process. But this provisional waiver that started in 2013 and is still ongoing, uh, it's still in effect, that allows the waiver to be applied for here in the United States. So. How, how does this new uh, executive order from President Obama um, change that? So what it does is it expands that. So currently this waiver is only available to um, spouses of U.S. citizens or uh, minor children of U.S. citizens. However, the expansion expands that to spouses and children of uh, legal permanent residences, or legal permanent residents and it also expands it to adult children. Um, and so this is a, a possibly a very um, important waiver that, that will hopefully go into effect soon. Now it hasn't yet, it may have something to do with the pending litigation in Texas um, and, and now before the U.S. Supreme Court, um, but look out for this waiver. It's potentially a, a great benefit for family members uh, of U.S. citizens.